Rival Gaming Revenue accounts for over 44% of all gaming revenue in the U.S. It's grown 300x since 1988. Since 2018, seven more tribes became federally recognized. All signs seem to indicate that the future of tribal gaming is bright. Tribal casinos are opening in many states right alongside non-tribal casinos during the last few years. It is a dynamic time of change in the U.S. gaming industry. There's also a bit of synergy worth mentioning regarding a sort of tension within a state's gaming industry. The IGRA is a federal law designed to support tribes. If a state allows casino gambling and has a federally recognized tribe, the tribe will most likely attempt to negotiate a state tribal compact. It is nearly impossible to prevent tribal casinos if a state does not entirely prohibit gambling, perhaps in the state constitution. If bingo is legal, for example, then tribal casinos can offer class two competition style bingo machines without a state tribal compact, and the state may object. There may be court injunctions filed based on pertinent legal precedents, as Texas did for years, but it is possible because the IGRA legally provides many tribes with that opportunity. Opportunity. As non-tribal gaming grows within a state, so will tribal gaming if that state has a federally recognized tribe. And if the state opens a Class 2 tribal casino or negotiates a Class 3 tribal state compact, the non-tribal casinos will want to open. Why? Because it's all about market share. If tribal casinos become the go-to place for the state's gamblers, the market can quickly become saturated. Other casinos might not survive if they try to open in a state with a mature gaming industry. Iowa is an excellent example of this scenario in action, with one casino within an hour of every resident. Take advantage of the Class 3 Vegas-style slot machines at your tribal casino by using my highly visible locations approach to win more and more often. So watch this video right here to make the most of this winning strategy.